Arts Homeschooling. This is Dana Susan Beasley of angelarts.biz. Today, I wanna to talk to you about the power of story. Story is in everything. It's, of course, it's in the Bible. It's, it's in all of the media that we see, the movies and the TV shows, and, and it's also in branding and businesses, very important part of branding and it should be a very important part of our homeschooling and I just want to share with you some of the stories that got me inspired now when I was a child of course I wasn't homeschooled this was back in the 70s and 80s but my grandmother back in the 70s she used to read to me and that that was something that really inspired me in fact that's something that I did with my son a lot too was read to him a lot and so I just got some of the books that she used to read to me back then you know she was born in 1901 so we're talking about really old-fashioned um, books but one of my favorites was this anthology and I just remember she would read these to me and then I would read them by myself I mean oh this, it was a children's magazine, actually, and it was published, let's see, I don't even know if I could find the date of this. I'm not sure. Oh, but this one, this story right here, I just remember how powerful this story was about this little girl. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it was such a powerful story. It's just something that I always remember. So, you know, just something like this that she would read aloud to me. And then I would read by myself, you know, because I just loved it so much. And now, of course, I have this book. It's a treasure to me. So, you know, that's a little anthology. In fact, downstairs in my schoolroom, I have collected all these anthologies that I just absolutely love. And then this was another book that I absolutely loved. I've read it so many times over the years. And this is all about the old-fashioned fairy tales. It's called The Enchanted Book edited by Alice oh I can't say that dog leash I don't know but you know it's got beautiful illustrations in there it's all the the old-fashioned fairy tales like 12 princesses and and Beauty and the Beast and oh I just love the I love these stories this is powerful to you know read to a child and then have them read themselves it's powerful stuff and it's so you know this book is such a treasure to me Something fell out of it. I don't know what it is. Picture, I guess. So anyway, this is another book that I just absolutely love. So, and then, and then another book that I love to read, and I don't think that they were read aloud to me that I remember, but, you know, Jane Eyre. And I read this book so many times. I, re I started reading Jane Eyre and Wuthering Heights when I was 10. But I absolutely love these books and, oh, so many hours of delight reading these. That's how I fell in love with reading, was actually my grandmother reading aloud to me. That's how powerful that it is. And so, and she would get, she was a collector of books, so she would get all these great books. I mean, look at those illustrations. This is Wuthering Heights. I just loved reading these. And so, you know, later on, I read so many books. I read Lord of the Rings and, of course, the Chronicles of Narnia and, oh, the, um, the book about the cauldrons is not, it's escaping my mind. There's just so many books I read. And then, and then when I got to be about 14 or 15, I read the, the, um, Odyssey. And so when I got to college, I'd already read that. That was great. <laughs> but, um, you know, I read so many books from that point on i just loved reading like little house on the prairie and but it all started from my grandmother reading aloud to me when i was a little child i just loved it so that is a way to foster a love for reading in your child in your homeschooling we always started out our day with reading aloud one of the first books i read aloud to my son was chitty chitty bang bang by ian fleming and no it is nothing like the movie and it is nothing like 
the spy shows, you know, the James Bond shows that were written by Ian Fleming. It is so different and it's delightful and it's fun to read aloud. I had a great time reading that aloud. And then we would read like historical book, historical fiction books aloud and all sorts of things. And that was a huge part of our homeschooling. And of course we read the Bible. I read the Bible aloud to him. That, that was really our favorite part of homeschooling. So, and now he, you know, he may not like, read fiction he's not a fiction reader neither is his dad but but my son spends a lot of time avidly reading and researching online that's what he that's his passion is doing that so you know the power of story can change the trajectory of your child's education and life and you don't know where it's going to lead but doing that and and not only that okay but even more importantly it's a bonding experience between you and your child or children it's a family bonding experience in fact way back in the day before there was all this tv you know, families would spend time reading hearing you know one of the family members would read aloud books that's what they would do that was their entertainment so you know institute that that would be a great thing to do Power story is incredible and is not something to be taken lightly. So, and another way, you know, I think about how my son and I will watch these movies and it will, it will provoke some kind of discussion. And that's because again, it's the power of story. And so we find a lot of times our homeschooling is more robust and interesting and exciting and productive when we watch a really interesting movie, even if it's a bad movie, you know, we can discuss it. Like oh, a while back ago, a while ago, we watched this horrible movie about King David, <laughs> but it provoked discussion. So that is good too. Don't, you know, it's not just all about books. All right. So I hope that helps. I hope that gives you some inspiration. This is Dana Susan Beasley of angelarts.biz. Together, may we reach new heights in our homeschooling and...